Breaking news, we now have another mandate from California's liberal politicians that's going to increase the cost of gas. We'll tell you how much more you're going to have to pay once this new rule goes into effect. Plus, an update on the growing border crisis. We've got video from the front lines. All that and more coming up. I'm Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California, and these are the stories we're following today. We're going to get to the massive spike in your gas price in just a moment. Uh, But I want to start out with the developments at the border where we see a massive surge in illegal immigrants coming across. Uh, My good friend Bill Malusian from Fox News is out there, and he's been covering this story just so amazingly. Uh, let me go to his uh, his video feed here on his Twitter account. This is uh, he's in the San Diego sector um, at the uh, trolley station yesterday uh, as illegal immigrants are being dropped off from Border Patrol. And I want to point out that uh, the city of San Diego and the county of San Diego had uh, had a welcome center that they were funding with local taxpayer money. Um, that welcome center is being shuttered this week because they're running out of local tax funds. Um, again, it's outrageous, absolutely outrageous that the local elected officials are spending our local tax dollars to help illegal immigrants milk the system. That's what that welcome, welcome center was all about. Uh, but here's Bill Malusian reporting. Migrants at the um, San Isidro uh, trolley station, and they are just simply being released by Border Patrol. That's a federal government chartered bus. Look at all of them just being released right onto the sidewalk. Where are they going to go? Have they been vetted? Well, you see some women there. You also see a lot of military-aged men. If they don't listen, where where do you want to go? Colombia. Or where are you from? Sorry, my Spanish is not that good. Good. And what's with the COVID masks, for God's sakes? Can we just stop this nonsense? But we're so worried about COVID, you should be worried about the fact that some of these people are on the terror watch list. You should be worried about the fact that some of them have criminal rap sheets a mile long. And you should be worried about the fact that we simply don't have the resources to care for everyone who wants to just simply arrive in America and cut through, uh, uh, cut in front of the process. But all of them are in the COVID mask. Oh, got to make sure you wear that COVID mask. Just in- insane. Here's Bill Malusian reporting uh, this morning. Right here. Again, uh, San Diego sector. Uh, yet another bus. This is a, brand, a, a whole new crew of folks being dropped off. Yeah, Dana, good morning to you. We are in San Isidro, a part of San Diego right now, where hundreds of illegal immigrants have just been mass street released from Border Patrol custody. This bus you see right here is uh, apparently an NGO or volunteer organization bus. They've all just gotten off a Border Patrol bus. To a- By the way, when you hear NGO or volunteer organization bus, recognize that that organization is being paid for by your tax dollars. So this is a government bus. Don't make, make any mistake about it. This is a taxpayer-funded bus. Your or tax dollars going to a left-wing open borders organization to facilitate human trafficking. That's what this is. We are helping fund the human trafficking supply chain by providing buses and uh, these navigators and the help desk to get them their illegal immigrant benefits. Of them, actually, they're now waiting to board this bus. I've talked to several of them from Peru, from India, from Colombia. The group from Peru told me they are here to work. They are going to Atlanta in Minneapolis. Let's see if we can talk to some of them real quick. Hola, Espanol. ¿De dónde son? Ecuador. Ecuador. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Nueva York. New York. Going to New York. ¿De dónde son? ¿De dónde son? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Atlanta. Atlanta. New Jersey. ¿Dónde? New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. They're going to New Year's, New Jersey, uh, but look at all those those idiotic COVID masks outdoors. It's just insane. I mean, the, 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 the government officials, the NGOs, are more afraid of oh well, you got to wear a mask, I might get COVID. They don't care about the the background checks on these individuals. 
They haven't been properly vetted. I can tell you that right now. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Chicago. Chicago. ¿Y uh, de dónde son? What I have to say is go to all those blue cities, baby. Yeah, go go to all those blue cities. Let them uh, have to bear the, the burden. Colombia. Colombia. ¿Quieren trabajar? No. No? ¿Asilo? Sí, yes. They say they want asylum. They don't want to work. They Wait. They say they want asylum. They don't want to work. ¿De dónde son? Hola, where are you from? Senegal, Senegal, Africa. Did you notice he had to kind of think about it? Um, let's see. Pick a spot. Senegal, from Senegal. We saw a lot of Senegalese in uh, Lukeville, Arizona. Where, where in the U.S. do you want to go to? What city? Uh, France. 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 Where? Uh, France. France. Speak French. Oh, he says he speaks French. I obviously do not speak French. Hey, where are you from? There, right. guys. All right, that's from all around. That's Bill They're Malusian. Uh, by the way, Bill's doing such a great job. Um, uh, he, he's the best reporter when it comes to border issues. Um, he is just simply amazing. Check him out on Fox uh, and follow him, uh, Malusian, Bill Malusian, and then an underscore. Uh, he's got a verified account on um, X and Twitter. Let's talk real quick about Joe Biden. He was here in California this week. Uh, what, what's so hilarious about Biden um, is he shows up. Not to visit the, the border. First high speed rail line in California, yeah. Nevada. Look at this. And I want to thank Governor Newsom for his leadership in that. And by the way. Wait, wait. So he shows up at this event and uh, he's raising money. He's not actually going and, and you know, visiting homeless camps or uh, looking at drug dens or the border. Uh, he's raising money from a bunch of rich people um, for his uh, floundering reelection campaign. And he makes a joke about how many. Californians are leaving the state and that most of them are, are, are wanting high speed rail to get the hell out of Dodge uh, and that most of them uh, aren't going to even consider coming back. Watch, watch this. We're building the nation. There we go. Oh, hold on. Nation's first high speed rail line in California and Nevada. And I want to thank Governor Newsom for his leadership in that. And by the way. I'm not sure how many people leave L.A. can do it in two hours to get there, or whether they're going to come back or not to Las Vegas. But all kidding aside, we're making the biggest <laughs> investment ever in climate, climate change, ever. Oh, my God. He's like, you know, oh, you know, it, it, this is great. He's got high-speed rail. He also has homelessness, a crime wave, failing schools, highest cost of living ever, uh, met rampant corruption on those high-speed rail projects, by the way. Bunch of Democrat donors getting their chum um, but, uh, he says people leaving LA don't know how many of them are going to come back referencing, I guess, net migration out of the state, or I don't know, maybe there's no intent there. Maybe he's just doing the Joe Biden babble. Um, but, uh, I would love to have seen, uh, uh, Joe Biden come down to San Diego sector and visit with border patrol to look at the humanitarian crisis as well as the national security threat of an open border. But he won't, and the media won't ask him to. Last uh, story I want to cover real quick, uh, and that is the, 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 the fact that our gas prices are going to continue to go up in California. Uh, we already pay $2 to $2.50 more per get gallon for gas in California because we have the highest gas taxes in the nation as well as the Green New Deal. Climate change mandates are being imposed on uh, where we get our oil from. Uh, it's being imposed on how we refine our oil into gasoline. Uh, all of those mandates, the cap and trade fees that are being charged because we're using carbon-based fuel. So $2.50 more per gallon of gas in California. It's not because of price gouging by oil companies. Uh, it is because of government taxes and costly mandates. It's a choice of California Democrats to give you higher prices at the pump. And when you add up the cost, if you have a car that you gas up once a week, 20 gallons um, once a week is about $2,500 in increased costs to you for just one car, just for gasoline driving around the state of California. Well, it's about to get worse, my dear. We got this headline from the Sacramento Bee. California says the climate program, the climate program. Let's call it what it is. Government mandates 
could hike gas prices of 50 cents a gallon. And here's how. Uh, this is a uh, program that uh, is part of the Green New Deal. When people say, oh, what is the Green New Deal for America? Come to California and see it. It means higher cost of living. Uh, it's a sucker punch to the middle class. Okay, that's what the Greedy New Deal, the Green, the green New Steel is. Um, anyway, they are uh, imposing new regulations that require under the low carbon fuel standard that refineries uh, produce more expensive gasoline. Now, remember, these politicians do not want you to be driving a car. They want you to be in government-run transportation because, you know, in their view, government should be providing everything. It's called socialism. But a 50-cent increase is what they're expecting to have happen uh, in just the next two years. 50 cents per gallon. That's astonishing. That's an extra $750 per driver per year, easily. Going for what? To save the planet? We're not saving the planet. That's nonsense. We are crushing working families. And it goes on to say that the 50 cents is before the projections of 5 to $6 a gallon gas. By the way, $5 a ga gallon gas, we already have that throughout California. Um, we're seeing six dollars, uh, maybe even seven dollars when things spike up. Um, and so this is just insanity. Yeah, at some point, first, the media's got to tell the truth, and they won't, uh, which is incumbent upon those of us who uh, have platforms to get the word out. And if you want to get the word out about why gas prices are coming, uh, uh, going up in the next two years, and they'll continue to go up like this video, subscribe to this channel, and smash that notification button so we can keep you updated on uh, breaking news. Uh, each day we post a new show at five o'clock. But tell me what gas is in your neighborhood. Last time you gassed up, was it $5 a gallon? Because I just gassed up uh, yesterday and it was like four eighty nine dollars where I am in San Diego. Uh, so we're, we're getting close to $5 a gallon. I know some places are higher than that. They're five twenty five, five fifty. dollars and this is despite the fact that, you know, right now we're at steady state. Wait till you have those supply disruptions. A refinery goes down because of unplanned maintenance or even planned maintenance um, or some sort of global shortage on the oil supply because we are so dependent upon foreign oil in California. In 1986, we used to produce 55% uh, of our own oil domestically in California. 55%. Today, we have seen a dramatic shift in our oil so that we are dependent 55% on foreign oil. In 1986, only 5% of California's oil was from foreign sources. Today, it's 55%. And so literally, we've put ourselves at the mercy of these Middle Eastern countries that are so terrible when it comes to um, human rights abuses. So much for the woke California politicians trying to line the pockets of a bunch of uh, uh, Middle Eastern countries that don't respect women's rights or gay rights. Um, but we're seeing this spike in gas prices, I believe, by design. They want you out of your car and into government-run transportation like that high-speed rail boondoggle project that Biden was praising Newsom for, uh, or just any sort of transit locally, the government-run transit. Less convenient, less safe, less efficient, frankly, more costly. Um, so we've got to do something about this, and that is electing better leaders. So check out my voter guide at electionguidecalifornia.org. Go to reformcalifornia.org and help us with the fight to take back the state of California from lunacy. Help support this podcast every day by chipping in a contribution. We get tens of thousands of contributors a month, and the average donation is $67 a year. That's someone giving $5 a month. So please chip in a contribution, sign up for a monthly contribution so that we can elect better leaders and continue to bring you uh, the news that you deserve that the local media, the state media will never bring you. Until next time, Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and smash that notification button so you can stay up to date on all the developments in California news and politics. Also, please visit the website reformcalifornia.org for ongoing news coverage and to join one of our campaigns in the fight to take back our state. 
you can, please sign up as a volunteer or chip in a contribution. This episode of Reform California with Carl DeMaio, paid for by Carl DeMaio for State Assembly 2024.